Whenever there is an influencer's boxing match, there is KSI. Many of you have already heard about Bryce Hall vs. Austin McBroom fight just before the press release. However, it didn't just start there. Although the fight went on between Bryce Hall and Austin McBroom, it is KSI's reaction to their fight that was long waited for. The British YouTuber, who is the first influencer to step into the boxing ring, and perhaps to get out of it as well, got himself stuck in the middle of the fight. But for some weird reason, he seems up to it. KSI's last fight was in 2019. He hasn't had a fight after that, but perhaps he might in response to Bryce Hall's call for a boxing match. Bryce Hall and KSI even teased about a coming boxing match between the two of them. The American TikToker Bryce Hall and his opponent Austin McBroom were just getting ready for the official beginning of the press conference. The press conference on May 18th was a preparation for their coming match, which is planned to be between the two rivals on June 12th. The American TikToker Bryce Hall, who apparently isn't that beloved among his friends in the boxing industry, had to deal with more than one problem at the same time. As in addition to Austin McBroom, whose presence in the pre-organized conference was enough to put Bryce Hall on the offensive, Bryce Hall had to deal with another online feud. Right before the press conference was officially commenced, the American TikToker posted on Twitter, KSI just said he would fuck me up in the ring. I would not want to ruin the fight you have been dodging with Jake just because you lost to a TikToker, at KSI. After I beat Austin, we can talk, buddy. He followed his tweet with a winky face. Nice touch if you ask me. And to that, KSI replied, You're literally easy work. Who do you think you're talking to? The British YouTuber KSI had mocked the American TikToker Bryce Hall on Twitter, using a photo of the TikToker in an irritated condition that meant to show the TikToker's anxiety and uncomfortable status due to the conference progress. It seemed the fight was shifting to between KSI and Bryce Hall. Yet, as we all know, the real fight is to be between Bryce Hall and Austin McBroom. Do you want to know how the scuffle started? Well, after watching a video of their little incident on YouTube for almost 15 times, we can tell you this. Bryce Hall and Austin McBroom were both sitting and talking about their coming fight when Bryce Hall got furious enough towards Austin McBroom. Bryce Hall had told Austin McBroom, don't step on me like that. As vague as it might sound, Austin then stood up and in no time they were both pushing each other on the ground. Do you know who we think was the boldest in this sudden brawl? The interviewer who stood in between the two opponents. Honestly, I wouldn't. Don't get me wrong, but I would prefer to spare them the opportunity and see how it would end up. It sounds like a better idea than having to wait for May 12th. Anyhow, after quite a good deal of time, the security men interfered, along with some of the crowd, and separated both men apart. The conference wasn't the smoothest one, but at least they got the publicity they wanted for their coming match, right? Following their realistic scuffle teaser, both opponents took their feud to the next level on social media platforms. And of course, KSI wasn't excluded from the scene. KSI is famous for his brutally honest manner of speech on social media. As Bryce Hall was trying to level up in response, a respectively high number of social media users went frenzy-watching the TikToker and the YouTuber face off their favorite platforms. Their online feud has also continued for a good deal of time, and most likely will until June 12th, which suddenly feels further than ever. The online battle started with Bryce Hall throwing a shot at Austin McBroom on Twitter. Bryce Hall said, Glad your security was there to push me off of you. After I'm done with you, I got a better fight next, so I'm not worried. And to that, Austin McBroom replied, Come to find out Bryce Hall is as strong as my 10-month-old baby boy. Steel boy you wanna, want to, fight him instead of me. And he followed it with a laughing emoji. And again, Bryce Hall threw another shot at KSI. The American TikToker Bryce Hall posted on Twitter, 1. You're scared of Jake Paul. 2. You won to Logan by points on a shitty call. 3. You're fat. Nobody is scared of you. And to that, KSI replied in reply to the three points of Bryce Hall, 1. Not scared, just busy smashing music, dropping an album and selling out arenas. 2. Still won and still undefeated. 3. And still would fuck you up easily. And that was just the beginning. On May 26th, Bryce Hall uploaded a video on YouTube titled, A Message to KSI and Friends. Bryce Hall appeared in the video alongside Kyle Godfrey Stromdy. Stromdy is the music artist who released TikTok Clowns. His track mainly targeted the cringe-worthy content many influencers post on TikTok. Bryce Hall commenced his video content with a friendly opening with Stromdy, showing how good they got along. Then, he briefly moved into his point, saying, 
I'm going to keep this short and simple, but I think we're going to start with three of UK YouTubers. And of course, the video was for KSI along with two other YouTubers. At the end of the video, both Bryce Hall and Kyle Stromdy boosted of their egos by discussing how many followers each has on his account. Then they both shook hands and expressed respect and admiration of each other. In response, on May 27th, KSI created a video titled, Bryce Hall Thinks He Can Beat Me, reacting to the video of Bryce Hall vs. Stromdy. He also added, You are not on my level, mocking Bryce Hall's fighting skills in the fight video against Austin McBroom that showed a footage of the first with his face down on the floor. KSI commented on this video saying, What is this? These guys, man, they just don't know, they don't understand, especially Bryce Hall. He then continued by saying he may consider to have a real boxing fight in a ring against Bryce Hall, if Bryce wins his June 6th fight against Austin McBroom as he said, win your fight and then we'll talk. After that, KSI added a few comments, including, Bryce Hall, you are not on my level, you are not on my level, trust me. However, the influencer's feud did not end on this point. Bryce responded to KSI's video by tweeting a video of an old fight of KSI that showed off his poor fighting skills. The British YouTuber and the American TikToker weren't the only parties involved in this influencer's fight. Not only did their followers and fans support them, they also fought with them, creating a tense atmosphere. Their fans both argue that a real boxing match must take place in the ring to end this fight once and for all. I can only imagine that many actually hope for it. But, as of now, the main event that takes the lead is Bryce Hall and Austin McBroom's coming fight, which is to be on June 12th. With this tense atmosphere, boxing fans expect their coming boxing match to be a thrilling event that deserves the long wait, if it ever happens. Whose side are you on? Will Bryce Hall be able to beat KSI? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for all of the boxing matches updates. Until next time, peace.